So I baked two loaves of artisan no-knead bread, one in a Dutch oven and one without a Dutch oven. Can you guess which is which? To see if your guess was correct, keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie. So today I will be doing an experiment to see how well we can bake artisan bread without a Dutch oven. So I'll be comparing a loaf made with a Dutch oven and a loaf made without a Dutch oven. So I already have a full recipe on how to make artisan bread on my channel. I will be linking that up in the cards above so this won't be a full recipe. So if you want a full recipe, please check out that video. So I hope you guys find this video interesting and I hope you learn at least one new thing today. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. So this is what my dough looks like after I let it sit overnight. I'm going to go ahead and generously flour my countertop to prevent the dough from sticking onto the countertop because the dough is very wet. And because the dough is very wet and sticky, if you wet your hands before handling the dough, it's going to minimize how much dough sticks onto your hands. So after I have the dough on the countertop, I'm going to go ahead and add more flour because the dough again is very wet and sticky. Then I'm going to split it up into two because the dough is enough for two loaves. Then I'm going to go ahead and shape my loaves. So I'm shaping it a little different than I did from the first video. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and fold in the four corners into the center or towards the center. And then I'm going to flip it and rotate it on the countertop to form a nice taut ball. And then we're just going to repeat the same process with the remaining dough. Next, we're going to put parchment paper in a bowl or a dish, and then we're going to place the dough on the parchment paper. So make the parchment paper a little long because we're going to use it as a handle to place the dough in a hot Dutch oven. So I went ahead and reshaped the second loaf because I didn't really like how it looked. And after reshaping it, I'm going to place it in a baking pan lined with parchment paper. So at this point, I have my Dutch oven sitting in a 450 degrees F oven. So I let it preheat in the oven and I'm gonna sit, let it sit for 30 minutes. And I also have my dough sitting on top of the oven and that heat is going to help the dough rise. So the one on the left is the dough that we're using without a Dutch oven and the one on the right is the one that we will be baking in a Dutch oven. When you bake bread in a Dutch oven, a lot of steam and moisture is trapped in the Dutch oven. So to give similar results for our bread that is baked without a Dutch oven, we're going to place boiling water in an oven safe dish and we're going to place that in the oven to help keep the oven very humid. So you can see how steamy the oven is with the water in the oven. So hopefully that will help our bread that we're baking without a Dutch oven. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that loaf in the oven right above the water. And then our second loaf that we're baking in the Dutch oven, I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the Dutch oven. And then we're going to let them bake for 30 minutes. So after baking for 30 minutes, this is what we are looking like. The loaf without the Dutch oven, you can see um, there's a crack. I think if we had slashed the top or the sides of that loaf, that would have definitely helped the steam to find a place to escape. So I'm going to take the lid off the Dutch oven and let both loaves bake for an another 15 minutes. So the bread should sound hollow when they're ready. and the internal temperature should be at least 200 degrees F. So these are the final results. The loaf on the left was made in the Dutch oven and the loaf on the right was made without a Dutch oven. So again, I think the loaf without the Dutch oven, I think it turned out pretty well. I think if I had made a few slashes on the top of the loaf, or maybe the sides, 
that would have given steam um, a direct path to escape because I think it looks that way because it didn't really have um, a, a clean or a, a good path for the steam to escape through. Um, so overall, the bread, that they tasted the same. Um, apart from how they looked externally, the textures were the same. Um, the bread that we made in the Dutch oven was a little taller, so had a little bit more rise than the, um, the, the bread without the Dutch oven. Um, but overall, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, you can see the height difference isn't that much. Um, and again, they, test, they tasted ident identical. Um, you couldn't really tell which one was baked with or without the Dutch oven after the fact. Um, so I hope you guys found this video very interesting um, and I hope you learned something new. Um, I'm not going to give any conclusion as to if you can make bread successfully. Um, if you can make artisan bread, bread successfully without a Dutch oven, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful and interesting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.